parents and teachers. Some images from Revelation can be scary to the young. Please preview for appropriateness and help them know the main message is one of hope and preparation. And once more, John's magnificent vision continues. It's the end of the world, and things are looking bad. But before we get to the end of John's vision, let's skip to the end of John's book, where he gives a stern warning to not add or take away anything from what he's written. Was John talking about the book of Revelation or the whole Bible? Some people think that John meant there would be no more scriptures ever. Huh? Well, this doesn't make a ton of sense for a couple of reasons. First, the Bible wasn't even put together until long after John wrote down his revelation, and the books are not in order of when they were written. Second, after thousands of years of scriptures, God isn't going to suddenly stop calling prophets, and thank goodness, too. Even with God's wrath destroying the evil of the earth and the wicked nations warring amongst themselves, the end of the world looks like it's going to be kind of crazy for everyone. Satan and his beastly minions want us to be scared, confused, and miserable. And temptation will be everywhere. In ancient days, Babylon was a mighty, conquering nation. It was the height of power, wealth, glory, knowledge, entertainment, and <laughs> enticements. What kind of Babylon do we see in the world today? Come out of her, my people, pleads a voice from heaven, so that you will not share in her sins, so that you will not receive any of her plagues. It turns out that evil isn't something you want to make a bargain with. Babylon gets destroyed by her own beast. Plot twist. With the world falling apart, the forces of darkness pursue their main target, the followers of Christ. Will they lose hope? Will they give in? God's people, who have been through so much and stayed faithful, may remember Zechariah, who said that when Jerusalem is surrounded, the Savior will rescue them in the nick of time. They may remember from the book of Acts, after Jesus ascended to heaven, the angel said he would come again in the same way. And they may remember Isaiah, and he shall reign forever and ever. And so it will be. The king will return. I saw heaven standing open, and there before me was a white horse whose rider is called Faithful and True. Satan is defeated and bound for a thousand years, and then after one final struggle, is banished to outer darkness.
humankind is judged with righteousness and mercy. The world becomes a celestial paradise. It is the ultimate happy ending. The angel showed me the river of the water of life as clear as crystal flowing from the throne of God and of the Lamb. It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. To the thirsty I will give water without cost from the spring of the water of life. Those who are victorious will inherit all this, and I will be their God, and they will be my children. Wow, the book of Revelation is a wild ride with a glorious ending and message about God's power and plan. There are so many awesome things we didn't have time for, like the two prophets on the streets of Jerusalem, the Book of Life, and much, much, much more. Now it's your turn to catch the vision. And don't forget the best part. Jesus already won. He already completed the atonement, which means victory is also ours as soon as we choose to come and follow Him. So let's choose now. There's no time like the present. And God shall wipe away all tears from their eyes, and there shall be no more death neither sorrow nor crying, neither shall there be any more pain, for the former things are passed away. And with that, we finished the Book of Revelation and the New Testament. Thanks for joining us this year. The whole Line Upon Line team feels so grateful to bring these videos to you in hopes that they help in your study of the gospel. We've had front row seats to the life and world-changing teachings of the Savior during His mortal ministry. We saw His atonement and resurrection, completing His triumph over death and hell. Then we journeyed with the apostles on their harrowing adventures as they established his church and taught deep gospel truths. From Christ's birth to his second coming, the New Testament bears witness of his divinity and role as our Savior. Next year, get ready to explore another testament of Jesus Christ, the Book of Mormon. Almost 50 years ago, Living Scriptures was founded to help everyone better understand and feel the power of God's Word. Who knew that today's Line Upon Line series would touch half a million lives every week? Our next season, The Powerful Book of Mormon, is in production, and you are invited to help us in this great cause by clicking the donation link below. And as our gift to you, anyone donating $10 per month also receives a Living Scriptures streaming subscription. For a donation of $1,000 or more, our artists will give your likeness a cameo in one of our videos. Together, through the gospel of Jesus Christ, we can make a lasting impact on countless people around the world. From all of us, thank you. And now, go read the scriptures for yourself.